you know, people don't realize in the, you know, they're starting to realize this now in, um, about the ramifications of the restaurant industry and what it really means to America and the rest of it. But, but our minds were racing that night and we're thinking, okay, cause it's not just you, it's, it's, it's Thomas and Danielle. It's all, and it's not just their restaurants here. There are a couple ones, you know, they got restaurants all over the world. And then we thought, I think, oh wait, and then it's Wolf, and then it's Jean George, and then it's, and then we started thinking, and then your mind starts multiplying, right? You know, when you think of something, when you, when something hits you, and then your mind goes, but, oh, but then this, uh, then this, and then, and then, so we started talking. It's like, wait, it's everybody we know, it's every restaurant. Wait, wait, it's every restaurant in America, and they're going to shut restaurants down. They're going to shut them down first. And now, if you shut restaurants down, people. You know, restaurants are, they're the largest, people don't really realize this, restaurants are the largest private sector employer in America. It, it employs 15.6 million people Damn. because it's so labor intensive, right? Just just in how restaurants are done. Restaurants contribute a trillion dollars to the economy. It's one of the largest private yeah. sectors, you know, in in, in the large, in, in, in in the largest economy in the yeah. world. What, 4%? G- yeah, GDP. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's gigantic. Yeah. Right. And and the other thing is, and if you look at the from a macro standpoint of the economy, you don't have any place anywhere that has lots of people gathering that doesn't have a restaurant. You have to, right? You gotta have bathrooms, yep. you gotta have air, you gotta have food, and with lots of people. I mean it's just a necessity. Uh, you know, and and so if you take out restaurants What's the next domino to fall? Well, it's to take out the institution that the restaurant's in, so the, so the hotels or or the convention centers or you know any place, you know a ball stadium, a, a, any place that has lots of people. You shut restaurants down, you shut down the economy. Yeah, like that's the that's the linchpin. Where there are people, there are hungry people. Yeah, well, <laughs> they, yeah, hungry. Yeah. You got to eat. It's part right? of the, yeah. We have to eat. Yeah. Right. Um. And and and. And and so what's happening, I think, now is people are starting to focus on, oh, my God, you shut the re-. – well, this dawned on us on March 12th, you know, to Jerome and I as we're talking, and we thought, okay, now I know what the insurance companies are going to do. They're going to take their money, and they're going to run to Washington, and they're going to get on PR, and they're going to start saying we don't cover anything, and they're going to misrepresent their policies. They're going to lie that all the policies have exclusions. They're going to lie – that the policies don't apply. And these policies are 300, some of these are 300, 400 pages long. Mm. And, and they're difficult even for seasoned litigators to read. Okay? And so I know that the game, because I've seen it before, was always your first lie. And, you know, there's a, there's a saying that's often, Mark Twain um, uh, would often repeat it, and it's, uh, it's a saying that says uh, that, a, that a lie can make it halfway around the world before the truth can get its boots on. And that's true. <laughs> you know, in in, in Why is that? Because um because people don't dig deep, right? You know, you, you hear something. It takes energy to dig deep. Well, it, it takes information. Yeah. And if the information you're given at first, you know, your first impressions, the other if the information you're given is one thing, you think that's the truth. Mm-hmm. So the industry had I had seen them do this and Katrina and Sandy, all this for a decade and a half. They go out and they lie first. They have the machine. They got the microphone. They don't have this one microphone. They got microphones all over the place in lots of ways in Washington and other places. And they go out and they lie about what they cover and they try to get the government. So what we decided to do that day in that night and that we worked that weekend is we put we coalesced we started calling all our buddies and all the chefs we call Wolfgang we call Jean George can, can you time stand this for us so time this was like the, so this happened the party was on the twelfth okay. so the eleventh was when they you know the insurance industry made gotcha, it public gotcha. okay these rumors on the twelfth we had the party that that night we said we got to start calling it so the next day Jerome and I that and that weekend that was like a Thursday or Friday. That weekend, we called every restaurateur we know. Now, you take every restaurant, you know, just just these guys have got millions and millions yeah. of Twitter followers. So we started calling everybody, 
And then we started calling people that owned hotels and people that owned casinos and people that owned the the buildings, powerful people that their restaurants were in. And we said, you know what? We this is not this kind of fight that's about to happen is going to be the most significant. And it dawned on us that weekend. It's the most significant civil litigation battle in history because you're taking down the largest sector of the largest economy in the world and you're taking it down. And not only that, it's not just restaurants. It's every business in America. Mm. Every business in America has got a, that's that's a, that you know that, uh, that has one of these policies. Yeah. So so it's not just restaurants, it's everybody in this boat. So this is and and it meant a lot to the insurance industry. And not just big organizations and small organizations, but both big and small. Big and small. Yeah. So, so, you know, I mean, I, I represent clients that have, you know, billions and billions of losses. And I got client, you know, I got I got a client that's got two food trucks. Mm-hmm. Right. And and so it it, it, it it affects everybody universally. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed today's video, please like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. And don't forget, there is a complete archive of every episode at restaurantunstoppable.com. Peace.